Did you just smell me? Difficult to avoid. Do you want to come for a drink? Are you asking me out on a date? No, I meant all of us. Did you? I am not your whore. Hey, Jackie, come here. Why? Just come here. Hi, if you want to make out with me, the answer is probably no. Who are you? Whoever you want me to be. OK. Hi, I'm Kira. You knew that. I knew you knew that. I don't know why I just told you that again. Uh, look, when Prince Charming found Cinderella's slipper, they didn't accuse him of having a foot fetish. Uh, and you're Prince Charming? What a fox. <laughs> well, this is intense. Come on. One dance. I won't bite. You must be Elena. I'm Damon, Stefan's brother. He didn't tell me he had a brother. Well, Stefan sent one to brag. I called you a gajillion times. Why didn't you call me back? Oh, I'm so sorry. I was too busy not wanting to talk to you. Huh? What does she mean by HH? It means we're holding hands. Are you the cutest? I'm afraid I might just be. That's oh. Serena. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Hey, um, do you know this young man? She doesn't know me. Nobody knows me. It's cool. It's fine. Tell I said happy birthday. Seth Cohen says happy birthday. Who? <laughs> she looks like a taste. Say another word and I'll tear out your liver. Caroline. Oh, it's you. Uh, from last night, right? I'm, I'm sorry about that. You remember me? She remembers me. You've got company. Oh my god. Sorry. Uh, hi, Summer. I'm, I'm, I'm Seth Cohen. I live, I live right next door. Hi. What's up? Hi. Uh, what? Oh yeah, here, don't crane your neck. Go ahead. Feast your eyes. Yes. I've seen that look before. You're intimidated because I'm a model. But I don't want you to be scared, OK? I'm a normal guy. My husband is sleeping with his secretary. She's married? Well, at least we know she's a woman. George? Are you George? I'm Lisa. How you doing? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great. Yeah? Yep. Well, treasure it. So what are you doing here? Seriously? Seriously? I stole a car. Crashed it. Actually, you already had plans? Plans with whom? My friend. I don't like it when you have plans. I'm allowed to have plans on my birthday. It's your birthday? Yes. I knew that. Already? Yeah, isn't that strange? It's the same day as last year. What are you and Dan Humphrey doing? We... Uh... Uh, uh we're... We're going to a concert tonight. Woo! <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Mm. Join us for a drink. Mm, I'd rather die of thirst. Thanks. She is so into me, and she doesn't even know it. It was nice to meet you, Damon. Great meeting you too, Elena. Oh, uh, what's that, Seth? Did you say you need a ride to a Star Wars convention? The Star Wars convention? I'm sorry, her top was off. You couldn't have at least said X-Men for me? No, besides, worst comes to worst, I'll be your boyfriend. Yeah, right. <laughs> but her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Perfectly tolerable, I dare say. Not handsome enough to tempt me. You'd better return to your partner and enjoy her smiles for wasting the time with me. Why is that so funny? <laughs> you made a joke, right? <laughs> so I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> a little too hard. I myself don't like you. I find you abrasive. But if I didn't know you, and I had never talked to you, I'd think you were totally hot. Thank you, Hyde. 
Anything for you, Dom. What am I, not uh, boyfriend material? <laughs> no. Isn't she stunning? She certainly looks good walking away from you. I'll take that as a challenge. Will you just stop and listen to me? No. Fine, I don't want to talk to you anyways. So you'll pick me up at 8? You really go out with some guy you don't know? Well, you can't be worse than the guys I do know. How about you and me go get a drink? I just want a guy. Who's asking you? I'm talking to him. Look, this is more of a boys' night. We're talking some quality man time, beer, football, maybe some wrestling. I thought we were going to a bar to watch some wrestling. Nah, who wants to go to a bar? We've got everything we need right here. I don't know what's gotten into Jackie. Steven, let's hang out. Steven, let's go to the mall. My life's a living hell, you know? <laughs> Steven, you're hilarious! Hi, Summer. Seth Cohen. I'm superstitious. Blow on these. What? Blow. I like you. In a, you know, romantical kind of way. You do? Yes. Well, get yourself something nice for me. I already did. And? Oh, it was very nice. Yeah. Very tasteful. Thank you, Mr. Stark. You're welcome, Miss Potts. You and your expensive jewelry and your romantic drawings can leave me alone. Oh, come on. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. Even if one's partner is barely tolerable. <laughs> you rock, Stanley! Dude, we're out of soda. Oh, I'll go out and get you some. Really? Nope, because I'm not your boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, I have something for you. For me? Yeah, I did some research and I printed it out for you. <laughs> no, you didn't have to do that. It only took a couple hours. Wow, and you really didn't have to do that. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. Oh dear, I cannot tease you about that. What a shame, for I dearly love to laugh. Talk to me. Come on, get to know me. I dare you. So this is really cool, huh? A couple of good-looking young fellas, a few beers. <laughs> That's good times. It's fate. It's, it's destiny. Look, we both like burritos. You want to eat somewhere else? Who's winning right now, me or my hair? No, no, Hyde, I just want to be with you, okay? I think you're one of the coolest, sweetest guys I've ever met. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Do you like me? Yes. Ha! <laughs> Serena, I'd like you to meet Rufus Humphrey, Dad. This is Serena. Serena Vander Woodson. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know how I know that. Nice to meet you. I swear I printed it out. Kira, you forgot all the research you did for that boy you like. All right, everyone, let's get let's get a drink. Excuse me. None for me. You know what? You're right. I yeah. I, I shouldn't drink. Don't let me stop you. No, 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 no. Believe me, drinking too much two nights in a row could be a real mistake. <laughs> nice save. I like you. You know how to laugh. You took me to meet your dad on the first day? So this, this is a date? Oh. I shouldn't have worn my loafers then. <laughs> Dress down a little bit. Okay. Okay, um, sorry, so not sexy. Ugh. 
you have any idea how pathetic it is to sit there and listen to you babble about mergers and acquisitions while some guy just stares at your boobs? Which guy was staring at my boobs? Who cares? Answered questions and time can be a factor with these things. Let's just put something on the books. How about the 24th at 7 p.m. at Stark Industries? This is crazy. I don't know whether to look at my own reflection or at you. That's how beautiful you are. You know what? <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> okay, you asked for it. Whoa. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Stephen Hyde, you are right. We will never be friends. We'll be more than friends. Because now, I love you. <laughs> oh my God, would you shut up? <laughs> As God is my witness, I will wait for you. Perhaps, shall we go out this evening? No. <clears throat> Dan Humphrey, just who I hate to admit I was looking for. You, you need help getting Chuck to sleep with you? Really? You hear the judgment in his voice right now, right? He, he's working on that. Yeah. You're right, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no judgment, only help. So what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about you. <laughs> your hopes, your, your dreams, everything you want in life. I want to know everything there is to know about you. Like what? Anything. I just bought the Battlestar Galactica DVD box set. Tell me about your first sexual experience. So do you love him? No! No, of course not. I want you to say it to get what you want. Frat guys have been doing that since forever. I can't. If I say it, then Chuck wins. If you say it, then you get him and you win. Just to be clear, I'm too smart to be seduced by you. Are you sure about that? Well, that's why I like you. No, that's a terrible idea. Don't disappear. Become unavoidable. Chuck might be a deviant, but he's still a man, so just, you know, drive him crazy and wear him down. You should be good at that. Okay. I'm sad I didn't warn you. What are you doing? You don't know how much I've always wanted to do that. I feel my heart. It's racing. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be gentle. We don't have to go all the way. We can just cuddle. And when you're ready, we can do some dry humping. Call me. You know, if we were a couple, we could play this game naked. <laughs> <laughs> Would you stop? Okay. All right. Uh-oh, Sherry. You won again. Hope I'm wearing my good underwear. <laughs> stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Please look at me. Hey. Psst. I love you, Steven. I have secret love powers. Look at me! Ugh. You've been broken up. You guys make me nauseous. You look fantastic. I didn't recognize you. What are you doing here? This is avoiding government agents. Are you by yourself? Where'd you get that dress? I, oh, it was a birthday present cool. from you, actually. Oh. I got great taste. Yes. You are? Want to dance? Oh no. All right, Thank come on. you. No. Not since he left that very vague message three days ago. Hi, um, Elena, I, um, I have something I have to do. I'll, uh, explain in a few days. I'll be fine. Do you fish, April? No. Fish are gross. Let me give you a piece of fishing advice. I said I don't. When you have a fish on the line, you don't just drag it behind the boat. You either reel it in or you cut him loose. Especially if he's a nice fish with a big lovable fish heart. You wanna drink at all? I follow my father's rule on drinking. Which is? Never drink to feel better. Only drink to feel even better. That's fantastic. It's true, you're afraid to reach the peaks of love for fear of being dropped off a cliff. <laughs> well, I'm your safety line, Steven. So grab me. Go grab yourself, freak. I'm not sleeping on that couch. It's stained and smells foul. You sleep there. After you've made it sound so appealing? Right, have fun, good night. Come on, get off the bed. Nope. Be like a gentleman. Chivalry's dead, sugar. You make a move, I rip out your jugular. Hey, hello, Todd. 
Rise and shine, sleepyheads. Uh, what are you doing? Please. Oh, stop being smutty. Seriously, get out of here. If I see something I haven't seen before, I'll throw a dollar at it. What's she doing here? I think she's hitting on me, man. <laughs> but I ain't interested. Tell her I ain't interested and make her go away. Go away, I'm busy. I was wondering what time I should pick you up tomorrow. How about a quarter to never? Excellent work. She's totally calling back. This is so weird. I don't normally do plots against people. Don't worry, Virgin. I'll talk you through it. Right on schedule. Where's my phone? Okay, we really need to go back. Nobody knows where I am. Pull over. I mean it, Damon. Pull over. Stop the car. Oh, you were so much more fun when you were asleep. We shared the same bed. I wasn't gonna sleep on that couch. It smelled like these eggs. You ate my toast, Summer. I like crust, Seth. Face it. Our chemistry is undeniable. You know what else is undeniable? The pain this fork is gonna cause when I jam it into your eye. Hitting on you? I am not hitting on you, you relic. Hey, name calling's no way to win someone's heart. What are you talking about? 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 Please just go back. We're almost there. Where is there? A little place right outside of Atlanta. Oh, come on, Elena. You don't want to go back right now, do you? What's the rush? Time out. Trust me, the problem's still gonna be there when you get home. So he just got up abruptly and he, he left. Like a bass out of hell. Well, then you got him right where you want him, trust me. He's headed home. Intercept him. I'll let you know what happens. Oh, please don't. I was promised a date. Yes, a date, like to a movie where we don't have to talk and I can put at least three seats between us. Hey, so you know that thing we wanted to talk about? Yeah. Yeah, can we talk later after tryouts? Do you mind waiting? It won't be that long. Um... I... Sure. May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? You may. I think you lost objectivity. I think they just, people just, they I don't just know. danced. No, it was not just a dance. You don't understand because you're you. And everybody knows exactly who you are and how you are with girls and, and all of that, which is completely fine, but, you know, then me, you're my boss. Am I gonna be safe with you? Yes. You promise not to do that mind control thing with me? Yes. Can I trust you? Get in the car. You and Chuck have been toying with each other forever, so you, you didn't win this one. Do you think maybe you should just, I don't know, let it go? This is different. Why? Do you, do you love them? Fine. If you insist on coming, meet me here, 2 p.m. Black tie optional. And I already have a dress, so don't even think of getting me so much as a corsage. You understand? Yeah, sure, that'd be great. You want my gun? Mm -hmm. You know, the first time that I told Serena I loved her, uh, it, it was terrifying. I've never felt so exposed. But the feeling that I got when she said it back to me uh, was probably the single greatest moment of my life. I would like a drink, please. I would like a, a vodka martini, please. Very dry with olives, a lot of olives, like at least three olives. One drink uh, give you a little better perspective. Well, not for me, but I guess it depends on the person. Look, if you want to have a drink, you should just have a drink. But keeping talking about it, you know, well, just make a decision. Looking for and permission then be... to drink. If I want a drink, I'll order a drink. So, Stephen. <clears throat> Would you like to go to Mr. Foreman's barbecue with me? No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I don't want to go anywhere with you. You know, that's okay. You know what? We can stay in. Bork. Bork? Bork. I'm sorry, are you eating turkey chili off of a frisbee? <laughs> yeah. It's very cute, right? No. Do you know what cute means? Great. Let's see you then. Oh, God. Oh, oh. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's just a fire folder. It's not a brick wall. I meant before that. You didn't even notice me until you nearly oh, no, knocked oh, me no, I, kept, I noticed you. Perhaps by and by, I may observe that private rules are much pleasanter than public ones. For now, we may remain silent. So you're with this chip guy now? Yep. Huh. Why? Do you care? <laughs> no, I mean, if you want to date this guy, that's... Cool. It is? I was just actually thinking how much I like your sweater. Thanks. Not that I didn't like what you were wearing yesterday. Not now, Mom. I'm starting naked. Ew. Summer? Not naked. No, 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 no. Okay. Your retorts in. Your retorts in. I'm busy studying naked. Is that supposed to keep me away? Cohen? You're at my house! And you are dressed. I wonder who's more disappointed. Boy, did I even remember. Well, I was a yellow sweater and uh, it's shoe slash boot things. Dan? Right. Yeah. Breathe. Right. <laughs> Chair of the Mystic Falls Beautification Committee and the Director of the Policeman's Yearly Is that my Mystic Application? When Where I did you get that? When I am chosen. If you open your heart, I know we can have something really beautiful yours forever Nathan I intend to redefine excellence now I'm really enjoying your use of when here mm. it's very confident okay. oh god you're here you ask I come I'm easy like this no Elena I will not go to your bedroom with you Please do be seated. What is Seth Cohen doing with Tinkerbell? She's from Pittsburgh. That's like the 909 of the East. Ed is cool. She's a little scammer. She's a bitch. Oh, uh, no. What? Nothing. Just, just somebody and then the guy said bitch and there's nothing. Have you seen the way she looks at him? No, but clearly you have. Well, only because it's like totally obvious. Oh, do my feelings for him offend you? Well, I'm sorry, because they're true. I'm pure, well, they're true. Are you trying to tell me you're gay or something? Gay, straight, retarded. Why do we have to put labels on everything? <gasps> oh my God, he called me a bitch and you hit him. And that's what happened, isn't it? No. <laughs> Liar. I am the bitch. And you love me. Please don't make me sorry for asking you. It is what it is, Elena. And then I'm going to teach you how to be adults. Cool. We'll get to be adults. Gee, golly. Thanks, mister. Pork. He's an ass. <clears throat> Every time I see you, you happen to me all over again. Ellen, you might be the most honest woman I've ever met. <laughs> Stop staring at me. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> I'm not this guy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh no, but one of the least fussy. You're trying to ruin my life. You're insane. Where is he feeling sleepy? Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Get out! You know you're dreaming about me. Explains the drool. Uh. You tell me you never think about that night. What night? You know. Are you talking about the night that we danced? And Went up on the roof and... Shall I call for some tea? No, thank you. Good day, Miss Elizabeth. It's been a pleasure. And then... 
you went downstairs to get me a drink and you left me there by myself. Is that the night you're talking about? Mm -hmm. You like Seth Cohen. Ew, no. <laughs> you like him. Like Stop him. Stop it. Love him. Stop. She's not my girlfriend. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I don't like her. She's shallow and rich and mean and bossy. She's everything that I hate. But Steven, you hate everything. I do not like Seth Cohen. I mean, I can't like Seth Cohen. He's like Seth Cohen. What? It's too bad, because he likes you. No. How could I like her? Because I don't like her. Because I can't like her. Mrs. Foreman, if I like her, shoot me. Pow! Jackie, get your car. We're going on a freaking date. I was wondering, do you have a date to Georgina's party? Forget the four horsemen. The real evidence our world is coming to an end? Blair Waldorf needing Dan Humphrey to rescue her from social extinction. The next time you see me, I'll be a stranger. Hello, strange person who I have never met before. Who are you? I'm Janet Snakehole. I'm a very rich widow with a terrible secret. Who are you? Elena, would you like to dance? I would love to. <laughs> May I have this dance? Klaus? Klaus? Kla Hello? Did you not hear me? Of course I heard you, Caroline. I think the whole of Mystic Falls heard you. We'll take things slowly. And when you're ready to develop the physical side of our relationship, you just let me know. No pressure. Thanks. George? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Vanessa, you're in love with Dan, and everybody here knows it. It is true. Olivia, that, that's crazy. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I don't need to put up with any of this. Shall we say, uh, 100 quid? I'm thinking, I do you, you do me, we all end up in a hot tub. What is going on? Are you bozos have a threesome or something? Oh, God. How stupid can you be? The third person is always supposed to be a stranger. Vampires can't procreate. But we love to try. It's just so hard when you're so cute. And I'm so horny, and there's only a couple of thin layers of cotton separating our genitals. You've always thought the worst of Chuck and me. You think we're horrible, depraved, soulless. And I may have used uh, all of those words at one point or another, but I... I'm sorry, I'm not following. What's going on? I'm in no mood for company. I'm sorry that you're having personal issues, but I have a real crisis on my hands. Elena stole my prom dress. Uh, I thought your costume would maybe be a little bit sluttier. How dare you! Right. You're not. I don't think you're that bad of a person. Maybe not my type, but you're not terrible. Who else could love me after what I've become? <laughs> Thank you for helping me see it, Humphrey. I went to pick it up, and the tailor said that somebody else already did. It is not funny. <laughs> I know, I know. Then stop laughing. You don't understand. Oh, I understand. I understand. He's the reason you live. His love lifts you up where you belong. I get it. Can you just not joke around for two seconds? I fought against my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. And how do you know when you're in love? Anyone? I got a way. I figure I'm in love with somebody when I wear a condom with the other girls. Holy crap, I'm in love. Well, I guess there's nothing left for us to do but, but kiss. Here it comes. Our first kiss. <laughs> oh, God. No. Uh, 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 what, what, what's happening here? I like Seth Cohen. You, uh, you, you what now? Nothing. I wasn't talking to you. 
But if you tell anyone what you heard here, I'll kill you. Is this your reply? Yes, sir. Are you... Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings which, as you've told me, have hindered your regard will help you in overcoming it. I do think you deserve to be with someone who makes you happy. Well, coming as it does from someone who dates Vanessa Abrams, it means very little to me. Forgive me, madam, for taking up so much of your time. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. What the hell are you doing? Chuck has put a dating fatwa on me. So unless I find some guy to kiss me so I can splash it all over gossip. Say life is giving you signs. And you're ignoring them because you're afraid of the thing they're signaling you to do. Signs are for the religious, the superstitious, and the lower class. I don't believe in them and neither should you. Damn you, Chuck Bass. Damn you to hell. Why? When did we start talking about Chuck Bass? So I think you should stop with the flirty little comments and that I thing that you do. What I think? I just have to figure out where I'm going. I thought I saw you storm out of here 10 minutes ago. Well, on top of everything else, I can't find my coat. Coat checker! What's wrong? It's not the coat. I'm sorry, are we friends? Of course not. <clears throat> if we happen to run into each other, please don't sit next to me. I wouldn't think of it. Let's just finish these dishes so we can go home. All right. Though I suppose if you're trying to improve your mood that my coming with you would defeat that purpose. It is pretty funny. Even you couldn't kill that much comedy. But I still require you to sit two seats away. happened to my room I redecorated it looks like something for a girl I like it or fez just put it all back okay make it ugly and dirty like I like it I don't believe this We didn't blow the candle. You're out of control, okay? Can I'm you out of control. Trust me on this one, okay? You're out of control, it's time gorgeous. to go to bed. It's time. Oh my god. Deep in the tent. <laughs> I found you. Oh, I found you. And I had to fight a squirrel. No, we wouldn't have to come in and in some business with my shoe. I'm in Devilshoe with my aunt and uncle. And now you're having a pleasant trip? Very pleasant. The three of us together, just like old times. The brother who loved me too much, and the one that didn't love me enough. And the evil slut vampire who only loved herself. Ah! I'm in trouble. She took it all down. Did you just scream like a girl? No. What happened to my lavender scented candle? Did you just say what happened to my lavender scented candle? No. Did you bring me strawberries? Did you know that there's only one thing on earth that I'm allergic to? Allergic to, to strawberries. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm not going to work for you, but as a friend, I am willing to help out. All you have to do is admit you need me. What? Never. Oh, him? Oh, he's... he's terrible. 
What's the matter? He's just back to boring, straight laced, off the junk. You've successfully cured him of anything that was interesting about his personality. Don't forget to help me. I hate myself. Lana called. Jackie, what the hell? Why'd you take everything down? You said take everything down. Well, you didn't have to. You said you have to. I didn't mean it. You said I mean it. How you doing? Um, freaking out a bit. You? Cool as a cucumber. Maybe it's a secret valent. How, uh, how are you doing with all that? Just seeking refuge with the perfect anti-Valentine's Day movie. Rosemary's Baby. Ooh, that Enrique is so hot. I mean, can you imagine being with a guy with abs like that? Huh. Yeah, apparently not. I was watching television. We're that good. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You are so that good. Your whole witty banter thing is so cute, you guys. You guys are like brother and sister. Is there no way to increase your odds? Careful, Damon. I might start to think you actually care. We wouldn't want that. What part are you at? I'll watch with you. Forgive me if I memorize some of Ruth Gordon's dialogue. Uh, okay, all of it. Do you know how many gloves I've lost in the subway? Well, you do often seem cursed. I do, don't I? You're looking pretty hot these days, Summer. Thanks. Oh my god, ew! Oh god, I'm sorry, Luke. You're, you're cute and everything, but there's just... Your unfortunate brother once had to put up with my playing for a whole evening. But he says you play so well. Then he has perjured himself most profoundly. No, I said played quite well. Oh, quite well is not very well. I'm satisfied. I was already on my way. I received your graduation announcement. It's very subtle. I assume you're expecting cash? That, or a mini fridge. Dan and Blair, individual entities. Two proper nouns separated by a conjunction. Or a comma, if, if mentioned in a list. Which is rare, since we have nothing in common and are, in fact, opposites. Well, I know that you and Elena have bonded, and I know that she cares about you, and uh, I know you care about her. Well, this is going in an interesting direction. I'm sorry I'm late. I was, what the, what is that? The kind of opposites you do not attract. Most definitely not. No. The world just wasn't ready for a Humphrey Waldorf friendship. Hence, good day, huh? Ooh, shoulders a little naughty, naughty girl. I don't want to harp on this, but did you like the uh, customer of it? Elena is a very good friend. Actually, she might qualify as my only friend. So, at the risk of sounding like a uh, like a jealous boyfriend. Oh, there's no risk. You do. It's been nice not being friends with you. Let's not do it again sometime. But the bigger question is what happens when we stop fighting it. I suppose that would work. One kiss, that's that. One kiss, and that's that. So why don't you lift up that face mask and give me a kiss? Ping pong, beep beep, huh. Yep, damn it, no can do. You wanna just kiss it on the, the uh -huh. facial slit? But for crying out loud, Humphrey. XOXO. I mean, it's only fair since I went after your girl. So what's it gonna be, huh? Fight to the death? <laughs> Go ahead. Make your threat, stake your claim. I'm not gonna fight you. Why? I'd fight me. You know what, you were right, man. I was jealous. I'm jealous of your uh, neat hair and your... the strange staring that the ladies seem to love so much. Can I come? At the comic book store? Yeah, I like comics, sort of. You do? Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, Betty and Veronica had a huge influence on me. You know what, I 
I do believe that. I believe it too. We both were alone in the city over Christmas break. And we ran into each other at the movies. And then, and then it kept happening after the break, only we started making plans to meet. And even worse, enjoying it. Mm. Jackie, who cares who's right or wrong here? Isn't the important thing that you make me happy? <laughs> who are you talking to? Do you even know me? Being in love with your brother's girlfriend must be difficult. I'm not in love with anyone. You wanna try that again? Are you in this car because you wanna help your little brother save the girl that he loves, or is it, is it because you love her too? If you'll excuse me, I see a lost soul in need of guidance. You're single now, and you want to know what I'm doing for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Mm. So, Anna dumps you, and you think you can choose me, and I'd still be interested in okay. you? Okay, first of all, what makes you think that Anna dumped me? Never mind. I beg you will come here and shoot as many as you please. Thank you. Mr. Bennett. Now you don't want to see me right now, or probably not ever, but I'm not here to cause problems. I can't say the same about you. Have you seen him? Walk with me. I'm not gonna be your sloppy seconds, ass face. Besides, I'm busy tomorrow. And I hope that you and, uh... Jessica. Jessica, lovely, lovely Jessica. I hope you'll be very happy together. You'll find your own girlfriend. Already got one, mate. Huh? You still got that ring? Do I? I uh, think it... Are you kidding? I've been carrying this since 2008. Okay. I'll be at the singles dance. Oh, hey, what do you know? So will I. I don't care. Great, I'll see you there. Not if I see you first. Okay, hopefully we'll both meet someone special. Oh, yeah, maybe. As long as his name isn't Cohen. Oh. Oh, snap. Listen, hey, okay, we're, okay. I, I know this looks nuts, all right? And maybe I am a little nuts because I've never tried to share my beauty with anyone before, and I think it's because I'm in love with you. <laughs> Big time. Great first date, Beth. Let's get another one on the book soon. I've got some champagne. And I had to drink most of it to survive. So I'm kind of buzzed right now. I'm just glad you're here. Can we make out now? Hey, Steven, will you go to the drugstore and get me a Vogue magazine? But I just, it's going to melt. <laughs> Crap. You have bewitched me, body and soul. And I love, I love, I love you. I never wish to be parted from you from this day on. Okay. What? He's your first love. I intend to be your last. However long it takes. I'm scared too. I know she is. She's scared of being seen in public with me. It's fun. Look, once you get what you want, that's when you've got something to lose. She's afraid of losing you, Cohen. Why? I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you need to let her know that. Let's talk up here. Oh my god, no. Summer, I know you're scared. Yeah, of you. But I want to say to you, I went nuts when you left. I broke a lamp. Okay, read me the thing. That was the thing. All these other guys, but you won't kiss me. Acknowledge me now or lose me forever. Dating this emo geek? Yes, Brad, she's dating this emo geek. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm a big dork and I listen to emo, and I'm dating her. You just call me your girlfriend. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, 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 yeah, fine, you, you win. <laughs> I can't have sex with you. And why not? Because I'm in love with Monica. You're, you're what? That's right. I love her. I love her. Why are you doing this? Yes, Summer, I like you this much. And if you don't feel the same way about me, then... Someone's gonna have to give me a hand down because it's really high up here and I could fall and that would be embarrassing. If you guys think that's funny, you should hear what Steven calls me. He calls me, he's a... No. I love you, Lance. And it's because I love you that... I can't be selfish with you. The people who make toasts. I just touched your leg. I know. You can't just screw this up. I didn't mean to. 
have to understand. There is nothing between us. Not then, not now. Nothing. I don't believe you. You get the door for you, hon?